remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. genius Travis Cook back with you once again and those of you who have watched this show for some time are likely aware uh, that we tape this show and indeed I live in the great state of Missouri and the great state of Missouri this week has uh, gotten a little bit of national notoriety I suppose because of the now infamous Obama clown video from the Missouri State Fair this weekend uh, we had a little rodeo out there and one of the rodeo clowns dressed up in a Barack Obama mask with a broom shoved up as you know what and uh, he was chased around by some bulls it was hilarious it was one of the funniest things I've seen in a while and I got to say that after seeing the video, I think it's a great representation of Missouri's sense of humor as a state and as a people. I think it illustrates our character as a people. And I think it really, uh, in some small ways, it's kind of consistent with our longstanding reputation as a state of, of a group of people that uh, does not like to be pushed around by others. And that, you know, if some federal person tries to, to push us around or tell us what to do, we're the kind of state, we're the kind of people that will tell you where to go. And uh, I, I think that's uh, something that this sort of illustrated a little bit. Uh, I mean, we were pretty difficult for the Union back in the so-called Civil War. That's another story for another time, of course. But uh, we've been doing this for a long time out here in the Show Me State. But there are a lot of people who decided to get righteously indignant about Obama Clown and get all offended about it. And there are many of those people, some of which in this state, but many of them nationally. There are those who claim Obama Clown was an act in very poor taste. There are even others who say that Obama Clown was <gasps> racist. Oh my God. Not racism. Oh no. Oh my God. We were racist. You know, do you idiots out here who think that Obama Clown was an act in poor taste and it was even racist in some bizarre way? I got a question for you. Why should Barack Obama be off limits to parody? Why should Barack Obama be off limits to lampooning? I mean, throughout history, hasn't America, in all of its various forms of entertainment, poked fun at those controversial public figures, particularly poking fun at those who have been a danger to our nation? We as a, as a nation often use humor as a way to broach the serious and, uh, and, and critical subjects that we face at a given time. How is Obama Clown's performance at the State Fair any different than, say, those old Warner Brothers cartoons where Bugs Bunny made fun of Adolf Hitler? I don't see where it is. But even if some of you out there have some trouble with the comparison to Adolf Hitler, although how far in the sand would your head have to be, or how far up your you-know-what would your head have to be, uh, not to make the comparison between Obama and Hitler. But nevertheless, if you have some discomfort with that, with that comparison, let me ask you this. Do we in this nation also not have a long tradition and a long history of lampooning and parroting every single president we've ever had? I mean, heck, Saturday Night Live would not be able to even put out a TV show if it weren't for their presidential parodies, whether it's Chevy Chase doing Gerald Ford stumbling down steps, or whether it was George H.W. Bush and the not gonna do it thing that Dana Carvey used to do, or all the fun they used to poke at George W. Bush. Saturday Night Live is practically one big presidential parody. If this suddenly go out of favor when Obama gets the White House, is suddenly not allowed now? Those parodies at Saturday Night Live and others do are no different than what we saw at the Missouri State Fair. With the one exception that the parody at the State Fair was a little bit more clever than most of the Saturday Night Live parodies are. But still, in terms of, of action, it's really the same thing. And not even to mention all the lampooning in the media at large over the George W. Bush presidency. In a time of war, mind you, they poke fun at George W. Bush left and right. There is even a movie out there that explore the idea of assassinating George W. Bush. Gee, would, would that be considered racist? I don't remember any of you guys uh, crying racism back then. wonder why that was. Well, anyway, Barack Obama should not be allowed or should not be given special treatment when it comes to public discourse. He is just as legitimate of a target for lampooning and poking fun at as any other president in American history has been, even if it's mean-spirited in nature. And after six years of constant anti-traditional and anti-American rhetoric and, and action from Barack Obama over these last six years. After all of that, can it be any surprise, can it be any surprise whatsoever 
that the people of a Midwestern state, particularly a state such as Missouri, that is grounded in patriotism, grounded in morality, grounded in traditional values as we are, that we would make such a public and humorous statement at Obama's expense. And the most important part of it all, the crowd at the rodeo that night, they cheered, they laughed, they loved it, they thought it was hilarious. And that's where some of these state politicians, unfortunately on both sides of the aisle, and some of these state fair officials who have been criticizing it, and now the state fair officials saying that Obama clown is banned for life from the fair, all these people who are criticizing it, Claire McCastle and all the rest of you, all of you can go suck it. Because the crowd cheered, they loved it. It's the job of the state fair to provide entertainment that will be enjoyable to the majority of the state's population. And judging by the crowd reaction in the Obama clown video, this was the case over in Sedalia. It's a pretty good sign that the sentiment of Obama clown resonates in the state of Missouri. And that's something that those politicians in Missouri who are criticizing Obama clown and those journalists in the state who are criticizing it, that's something they all need to remember because you know what? It's the people of the state of Missouri, the same people that love the Obama clown act. We're the ones that pay your salaries, politicians and journalists. So maybe it would be in your best interest to laugh along with us, you think? The people of Missouri, or any other state for that matter, are under no obligation to pretend that we respect this so-called president, when in reality, we do not. For us to keep silent and refrain from such public displays would really be the epitome of dishonesty when you think about it. It would really be a situation where we would allow people to think that there's some sort of default level of respect for Barack Obama when there is none. And for the Claire McCaskills of the world that complain about the level of discourse, we do not owe him or you or anybody else any degree of political discourse. We'll give you the discourse we want to give you. And if Obama doesn't like it, or if you journalists around the nation don't like it, then Obama can come down here to Missouri and tell us to our face. But no, 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 not coming to St. Louis or Kansas City, the two cesspools of the state, and not coming to some college campus where he handpicks the audience. No, 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 Obama, you got a problem with this. You come down here to real Missouri. You come down to one of these farms where one of these people that went to the rodeo and laughed where they live at. You come down to one of our farms. You come down to one of our pastures. We'll set you up a nice little podium right there in the middle of one of our pastures. We'll even clear out the cow pies. I know you don't like those. We'll clear out the cow pies. We might even go so far as to set you up a couple of those teleprompters that you like so much. We'll set it all up there in the pasture, and you can come and give us a speech about how you don't like how we treated you at our state fair. Of course, we might accidentally forget to lock up our angry bull. <laughs> Gee, I hope you can run a little faster than Obama clown did. You know something, Mr. Obama, and other politicians and media? We in the state of Missouri, or anywhere else, do not owe you a civil level of discourse. We do not owe you any respect. The only thing we owe you, Barack Obama, and it's the same thing we owe every other uh, public figure, every other politician, every other elected leader. It's the same thing we owe all of you, and that's one thing, honesty. That's what we owe you is honesty, Barack Obama. So honestly, Mr. Obama, we hate you. We hate what you stand for. We hate what you believe in. We hate anybody who believes and stands for what you believe in and stand for. We hate your filthy, stinking, anti-American guts. Run in hell! Got it? Good. Sincerely, the people of the sovereign state of Missouri. This is America's Evil Genius. We will see you next time.